Okay, folks, this will be an interesting one. Something I hate. Let's see if we can make it turn up a treat. Or it's something sponsored by a person I hate. And something sponsored, yeah. <coughs> the nerds will inherit the copier world. Yes, they will, folks. No, I don't want camel. I hate camel. Oh, camel look good as a, yeah, can look good as a negative image colour, like brown. But camel looks terrible as, as the colour in positive mode, if you know what I mean, folks. Okay, let's see what this is. It's out of a North Shore Living, a snooty magazine, and it's a very snooty article. It is about Youth Art Prize winners to be announced. This is what we're photocopying, folks. But this art prize, this Mossman Art Prize, is... Yes, it was um, it initiated in 1988, 1988 by an internationally renowned artist and Mossman resident, Ken Doan, or Ken Dunn. I really hate Ken Doan. I hate his snootiness and the way he's made so much money just by doing children's drawings. I'm just going to quickly play with the photocopier, but I really hate Ken Doan. I really hate his fuck. He's just a rich old fool and he just doesn't seem to... He's just an asshole. I don't like him, folks. He's just a rich fuck. You know, people like him make money out of doing shit. I don't know how I'm going to make money doing my art. I'm trying to get on the 6 o'clock news on Channel 9. And I need to get in touch with my partner, Luigi. And I don't know how Ken Dome managed to become so successful. And he just looks like a snoot. He just looks so fucking up himself. He's an asshole. I don't like Tim, him. I don't like the um, Ken Dome. He's an asshole. He's just a dick. Just because he can make a lot of money. That looks really quite interesting. Yeah, Ken Doan. Ken done it. Ken done it in the toilet. He might as well have gone to the toilet and flushed it. <laughs> Flush him down the dunny. Ken Doan. Ken done. I done a poo in the loo. Yeah, whatever, folks. Looks a bit better, looks a bit cooler. The blue and the, the yellow, the green looks a bit cooler. This is the first version. This version looks a bit better. I wonder if we're going to cool it down further because we're going to use this as our master copy and yeah, going to reverse the colors back. Or maybe we're going to keep it that way. I like those colors. I'm going to change it from brown to yellow. Yellow will go well with that, and we're just going to maybe cool it down gonna leave it like that but yeah he's just so well known and famous and his art is just everywhere like I um, pack birth certificates at my Australian disability enterprise job and I've seen heaps of his images appear on birth certificates of all things and yeah they, they're just everywhere and He's just really popular and somehow he's made a living making 
he doesn't do not all his drawings to be fair folks not all his drawings look like children's drawings but a lot of them are and he's become like he became like famous for that style of drawing that looks somewhat like children's doodlings and yeah maybe not quite doodlings but pretty close to it and he just does somehow has made a, a, ma a name for himself Now, I don't know if I like that colour scheme, folks. If I'm going to reverse it. I do like the blue colour. Um, we're going back to the brown. But yeah, I just don't, I just got a feeling he's just a money fucker. He makes money out of this stuff and he knows how to make money. And I'm a person who, I'm talented as an artist and yet I don't make a fucking cent out of what I do. It costs me a lot of money to produce what I'm producing, folks. It really does. It's really expensive and I'm not rich. And I'm trying to um, get recognised outside of my disability I don't want my disability to define what I, do, I, I can and can't do even though at the moment it does I'm trying to make the best of what I can people like Ken don't have it easy they can just make art and suddenly money pops out every time they do a painting or drawing which is what Pete, Ken don't typically does he manages to make a fucking killing, killing on what he does. Whereas for me, instead of a hundred dollar note coming effectively out of a photocopier, every time I press that button, it costs me a hundred dollars. Well, maybe not quite that much, but currently my work is not worth what it's printed on. So I haven't actually made money. I've got boxes full of materials building up that I have to sell at some stage and there's just like tens of thousands of sheets of paper that are taking up space in my unit and they're set to take up more space. That looks really quite interesting. I don't like that pink though. Looks a bit too fucking pink. But basically, yeah, it's really difficult being disabled and not having much money and no backing from any corporations or any sponsors. I don't get sponsored for this shit, folks. I don't get no fucking sponsorship. You know, nothing. I get nothing, folks. Nothing. Zip, zilch, nada. I don't get sponsored. I'm not a sponsored person. I'm not an artist that's able to pull sponsorships. It's frustrating, folks. I'm trying to get on the 6 o'clock news. I see that as my only way to get in touch with my partner as well as become a famous artist and make money and be able to ditch working in a disability job instead of fucking... You know, I want to thrive. I'm not interested. Even the cost of living have gone up further. I just got a letter today from my housing provider... It's necessary, I know. It's not their fault. They just have to do it, keep costs down, so keep supplying the service. Well, my water supply, which was unmetered and was at a capped rate, has now gone metered. So I'm going to have to pay money for the water. So I've actually been rationing my hot water in the showers because of the electricity costs going through the roof. And winter's coming up, so I'll need the heater. So basically, um, yeah, and I can't afford, now I won't be able to afford to keep the water going if I don't, if I suddenly, I'm in credit to the power company, but it might be that the water might be a problem because if I don't, if I end up, I don't know when the water charges are going to be charged. If They have to be charged on my pension day 
because that's when I have the most money available. So I'm pretty sure they'll do that, but I'm not totally sure. Uh, I'm hoping because if they do it on a at a time when the money's low, if that gets declined, I'm in deep fucking shit. So you know, this is not easy being disabled, folks. It's not easy trying to prove yourself to the world that you're not just a piece of disabled low life crap. My dad doesn't believe in me and my brother doesn't believe in me. They treat me like shit. So, you know, I really feel like shit being disabled and not being able to use my talent and make money out of my talent and become dignified. Just like, and Ken Doan doesn't have to be an artist. He could work in a normal job. He's not disabled. He's fucking got it all. He can go fuck himself. I hate Ken Doan. I hate his type. I fucking hate Ken Doan. And this is Ken Doan's shit redone. And it's like, Ken Doan, if you're watching this on Channel 9, go fuck yourself. I hate you. I hate you, bitch. Okay, enough of that. Gotta go.